So, good morning, everyone. Um, my name is I'm from St. Petersburg State University. And today I will share our research about explainable AI using sharply value in anomaly detection system to explain users and the imp how inputs influence on the outputs. And uh, here you could see the outline. First section I will introduce about background, including what is XAI and uh, why we need it. In second section, I will introduce about anomaly detection system, including two algorithms which we applied our Sharply approach on to explain to users. And third section is also the most important section. I will introduce about what is Sharply value and how we apply it in anomaly detection algorithms. First section, I will show our simulation results. And the last one is about conclusion. In final, I also attend some reference. So this is background. XAI is a new technology used to transparent AI algorithm. As we know, that AI algorithm in somehow is like a black box. So users and uh, engineers couldn't understand what happened inside. And in this problem in some special field, for example, military, medical, financial security. If, if users couldn't convinced and they don't understand what happened inside algorithms, it means it, for them it's impossible to use such solutions. So we're trying to using XAI algorithm to improve transparency, to improve trust, to improve bias understanding and fairness. And this is also the reason we start the research in XAI field. <clears throat> Here you could see the overview. So for different XAI algorithms, we could divide them into different types. First, based on scope, we could divide them into local and global. Um, local, local means that focus on only the explaining of individual data instance. While the global try to explain, to understand the model as a whole. Second, if we based on methodology, we could divide them into back, back propagation and perturbation. Back propagation means that the XAI algorithm already combined with the AI algorithm itself, it could feed back some heat map to users according to the gradients or some scopes so net engineers could understand what happened inside of algorithms. For perturbation usually used to explain users, we could um, do some random or changes to features in the input data instance so that we could obtain different outputs. By this way, we could understand how input influence on the outputs. Third is about usage. And we could, by usage, we could divide them into intrinsic and post hoc. In, intrinsic is somehow also the AI approach, the ex explaining approach combined with AI algorithms. So it means the solution only possible for one fixed model. And second is like, it's more, um, more, more easy to apply it to all models. Its name, the name is post hoc. So it means that explainable approach could be applied in any kind of algorithms. And our approach, we all focus on local explaining using perturbation, using using perturbation methods in post hoc way. And here you could see the anomaly detection system. Um, in our in our research, we based on a pro open source project which name is localizer and uh, we apply our sharply value approach on this project uh, 
directly. It could consist of four parts, log collection, log passing, feature extraction, and anomaly detection. And uh, anomaly detection is where the algorithm is located in. So we will focus on this part. And in the foot, you could see a link to access to the open source project. So first algorithm we use is decision tree. Here I concluded how decision tree work on the anomaly detection. The same way first, we're choosing a route according to information gain, and then divide the samples into two subsets according to the route, and we'll find the maximum gain in next stage. Then continue first step and two, three step, we could generate in the whole tree. After it, we could, we already could obtain the prediction result according to each branch of tree. The second algorithm we use is DeepLog. DeepLog is based on neural network. So in this case, the sequence is more important. In decision tree, we treat each single feature as player. But in this way, we have to during sequence player. So here you could see the input is some logs and each log consists of several events. And after passing it, the system will divide each single input instance into several subsequence, and each subsequence connected with one key log. In our case, we also call it as key events. And after it, our algorithm are available to do the anomaly detection to show users which part, which logs causing the anomaly. And the third is about the Shapley value. Shapley value is come from cooperative game theory. And uh, it could usually it could be used to calculate imputation for different players. In somehow, a higher imputation means a higher contribution. So this is why we applied Shapley value in XAI trying to analyze the contribution of input instance. Here you could see the definition. From this formula, we could know that we need to obtain all characteristic functions for all collisions. And after that, we are able to obtain Shapley value. For decision tree, so first step is the same. We need to define uh, how much players in the data set. As I told above, so we consider each single feature as player. So net, um, so here you could see we defined n in the data set consists of n features. So we defined n player, and then the second step we generating the collisions. The total number of collisions we could obtain by this formula, and after that we we run the algorithm to obtain all the, all the characteristic functions. And uh, when we obtained all characteristic functions, we using the formula, the Shapley equation, we could obtain the Shapley value to measure the contribution of inputs. From this diagram, you could see the more with details. So you, here you could see the input instance and in decision tree, we consider each single feature as players. And then we could obtain all the collisions. After that, we using perturbation methods. We, by controlling the weighting, we could uh, to obtain different characteristic functions for different from different collisions. And in this case, of course, we defined the detection accuracy as the, as the characteristic function. So here you could see the simulation results. In left pictures, we tested in one data set. In this case, only one feature, one event play most important contribution. This is event E11. And in second picture, the result seems more interesting. In this case, we got three events, 
has a better contribution to the results, while the others almost do no contribution. So from these simulation results, engineer already could understand which events is not necessary and the two uses it's also clearly from the work cost the anomaly. And the second is about the deep, deep log. Um, deep log, as I told, we consider the sequence as player. So here you could see, for example, this is just a, a simple example. So we, we show, we combined two events as one sequence and each subsequence connected with different target events. And this is how neural networks. So we here we propose bi-level approach. First level, we divided each subsequence, we divided all subsequence into different groups. And uh, you could see each subsequence, some of them has same events, some of them has different events. When the subsequence connected with same events, we combined them into same group. And after that, all the subsequence will be considering in a group way. So we can obtain the Shapley value according to different group. And second level, we will enter each fixed group and obtain the subsequence contribution of subsequence to this group. So here you could see a generally generally distribution. First, first step, we obtain group level Shapley value. Second level, we obtain the Shapley value for each sequence inside of fixed group. And last step, we do a multiplication. Then we could obtain resulting Shapley value for each sequence. Here you could see the simulation results and the left picture here you could see we, this is first level and we calculate the contribution for each groups and the different group do different contribution to results and the right picture show the second level. Here we, we calculate the contribution for, <coughs> for sequence inside of event E11. So this is just for example, here you also could see different subsequence to different contribution to the, from the group E11. And uh, the last step is multiplication. We multiplication the results for, from first level, multiply with second level. Then we could obtain the final results for sequence player, which in the length is equal to three. Here you could see different sequence in different groups. We could obtain different results. From this picture also, we could already able to explain the users and engineers how sequence influence on the results. So they, for users, they could un understand which, which, which input instance which sequence lead to an anomaly, making the system set that this is anomaly. And for engineer, in somehow they could understand which sequence do no contribution, so they could do a better data preparing to improving the results. Okay, so here is, is the conclusion. So first, we, we're using Shapley value to measure the contribution for single features in data sets to explain users where occurs the anomaly. And the second is we using the sequence play combined with the bi-level approach, we explain to explain users and the engineers how system set net and the make us a solution to show the anomaly information. And uh, here also, of course, we still have some future work and the challenges. And the first is about the dimension problem. And here you could see the sequence player could lead uh, to an incalculable problems to characteristic function. And for decision tree, we have totally 14 players 
in our case. But for when we consider a sequence player, it means that, as we understand, one sequence consists of several, it's a combination of several events. So it means if the, the, the unique event is 14, then the sequence maybe will be more than 50 or more. So it will lead to un incalculable problems. And uh, in for this problem, of course, we already using bi-level approach to solving it in deep log algorithms. But in future, we're trying to using some sampling or interpolation methods to solving it. And some research already proved that they could solve dimension problem by using sampling or interpolation problems. And the second is about indicators. Now we don't have a good indicators to evaluate the precision and the reliable of our research. So this is also a challenge for us, which we need to solve in future. And here I list some reference, including explainable AI um, and anomaly detection algorithms, as well as some survey for XAI. And uh, in, from my paper also, I have some reference to the Shapley value and the different way to apply Shapley value in XAI. So if you're interested, maybe you could have a check. Okay, this is all my presentation. Thank you for listening. And uh, sorry, my problems, so I couldn't open it. No problem. Uh, <clears throat> so Sin, thank you very much for the presentation. Uh, actually, I want to comment. Uh, actually, this is his presentation at the Korean conference on uh, machine learning and artificial intelligence, will, which will be at the end of October, right? Yes. Okay, okay. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, I, I want to add one comment. So uh, actually the bi-level method, the idea um, comes, um, the idea of how to come calculate her uh, Shapley value uh, comes from the uh, bi-level cooperative uh, dynamic games. Uh, and this, 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 this idea comes from game theory, but how to construct the sequences and target events. This was all created by uh, Tosi. And uh, so you see how explain, uh, explainable AI is connected to game theory. So all is kind of all is interconnected. And I'm so saying thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much for the presentation. <clears throat> um, it, it was very clear, very clear. I, no one, no one has any questions. Okay, so uh, uh, do, do you know, is Feyran here or not? Seems Feyran not here. Uh -huh. Okay, but anyway, um, so uh, actually there is already um, a team uh, and uh, so team is a kind of technical leader of the team working on explainable AI. And uh, so I, I asked him, uh, to do this presentation to show some motivation for you in this direction, the research. And I hope that Fei Ran, also a student uh, of mine in uh, St. Peter State University, will next month uh, share some results on um, also uh, bi level method and high dimensional explainable AI. Uh, hope he will join us next month. Uh, okay, thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Hey, okay, thank you. Good job. Thank you. For Good your job. Comments. Thank you. Thank you. I release the screen. Actually, mm -hmm. I don't have even no questions because it was clear, uh, at mm -hmm. least to me, maybe someone else. Uh, I, I think uh, uh, his research uh, is uh, difficult uh, for uh, beginners. Uh, for example, uh, here are several students. Uh, uh, their uh, major is mathematics on um, applied mathematics is difficult for them. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, ne uh, next student uh, is a um, reporter is uh, uh, Zhang Yuyi. Oh. She is a, Hello? a PhD student uh, uh, with uh, Professor Ominas and uh, um, she has uh, 15 oh. minutes. 
Hello. Mm -hmm. uh, she, she, she will. Uh, so I, I want to introduce you shortly. Sorry, sorry. Uh, you sorry. Uh, so so uh, our team works on the direction of SHAP. So applying cooperative games for the explainable AI, which is a kind of a hot topic. But also, it is important to understand what are other directions for explainable AI exist in the world currently. So um, he wanted to present to us what are other directions and then so that we could understand some key points and ideas to use in our research as well. So that would be very, very interesting and inspiring. Uh, okay, sorry, I stopped. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay, thank, you. thank you for your introduce, introduction. And uh, my my topic is explaining this. Uh, can, can you hear me? Yes, yes. Oh, okay, okay. And my topic, my topic is explaining explaining the decision of neural networks by LRP. And uh, uh, this method called layer wise relevance, uh, relevance propagation. And uh, in the in this picture uh, system, in, in this picture system could, uh, could extract a pixel, uh, each pixel from the picture, and uh, and identify identify that there exists a cat or not. When the when the fact when the fx bigger bigger than zero, uh, it's mean that uh, in this picture has a cat. And our work, for our work, we need to explain how the system works. It's uh, also another uh, name is uh, a black box. So our work is to explain uh, explanation uh, to explain this uh, black box. And uh, uh, we uh, prediction fx over an uh, input sample. And our goal is compute a relevancy score, and uh, for each input x d in dimension v. And this, and we will get this uh, formula. This very important formula because this is the core idea of this method. And uh, now explaining the effects by neural networks because uh, LRP is the method based on the neural networks, so. Uh, neural networks is very important for uh, learning of LRP. <clears throat> the left is the a normal direction of uh, neural networks. It's uh, from left to right, and uh, <clears throat> and the right is our um, explaining explaining by LRP. Uh, this direction is from right to left, and. Uh, we have we just uh, uh, set or uh, uh, R is mean re relevance uh, relevance. This means the relevance of each of each pixel, and this each pixel is uh, R, and uh, it uh, the value the value of each pixel it's uh, from this and this and this and so on. So we get. This formula, the the formula about references, and uh, this is the one pixel references of one pixel. If we want to get the whole uh, the layer, the whole layer of uh, references is so the whole layer is some it's some R. Some okay, and uh, combine with this formula, we can get. This formula is also very important. <clears throat> and uh, and now uh, our uh, our work is uh, from FX transfer uh, R. Uh, before we need to explain FX, and now we need to explain the relevances. And uh, we suppose we have one layer. The input uh, x belong to r. Uh, we use a linear classifier uh, with some <clears throat> arbitrary and uh, dimension specific feature space mapping uh, and the uh, uh, bears b. 
and uh, this have this formula. This this our site. We set we set this formula, and uh, <clears throat> and uh, we will get this formula. Uh, this formula means how to get it. I will explain it. Uh, this because we because in this situation it's a linear, uh, it's a linear relationship. So this is the uh, this and uh, and if uh, this uh, not the zero, uh, we will that uh, we will that uh, this and uh, we just assume this is B and uh, this it will the R. So if f x uh, just like this, it will sum, yeah, it will sum this and uh, and this, and uh, when we get this formula, and uh, if if this will mine, uh, if this will the value is zero, uh, finally f x or value of f x will the be, and uh, we have the a number a dimension number of uh, v so when we expand uh, when we expand this uh, process and r will the value v and uh, v so this this the how to get this formula and uh, we combine we combine this to the <coughs> result and we can define r will this formula and now this the process of explanation by LRP. Uh, from left to right, it's uh, just uh, uh, we have a, a picture, and uh, we use a, a black black box, and we get uh, f x. Uh, in this situation, f x uh, bigger than zero, so we can we can know. Uh, the system can identify uh, this has an airplane in this picture, and the uh, upper it's uh, it's the uh, process of explanation. It's step one, step two, step three. It's it's uh, the explanation, and the next I will introduce how the this work. And uh, uh, before introduce how the work. We need to know the concept called the bag of words models. Uh, bag of words is the method of representing, uh, representing text the date when modeling text with machine learning algorithms. We can get the local features of the picture under the condition that the BOW counts the number of the uh, occurrences of those same uh, elements. Uh, it's called uh, frequency, and uh, this the uh, bag of word models uh, how to work. Um, our original date may be uh, the formula by text or uh, picture, and uh, when we put them in the BOW model, uh, first they will segment, they will segment the text or the picture into uh, change it to words or pixels, and uh, and after it will bill bill w is to uh, vector vectorize uh, words pixel by com uh, combining x b with its uh, frequency. It does mean it will this will be a uh, this will be changed into the vector. Yeah. This process B O W change the change the words or pixel into the vector, and uh, we we get the vector. So and uh, we uh, through the uh, clustering algorithms we get the local feature. And uh, step one of explaining. Uh, the third layer is uh, out. Layer is the 
uh, BOW feature itself. In the first step, we would like to achieve a because uh, because position of the classifier of our, it's a mistake. classifier prediction affects into a relevancy score relevancy score of feature dimension D feature dimension D like this and uh, now we we just uh, use a called a kernel function to mapping xd to a high dimension space so that the function has a linear relationship we just uh, we input the kernel function our goal is change the nonlinear relationship into the linear relationship and this facility to our uh, reach and uh, we define a kernel a kernel function k uh, to be some deco uh, decomposable if there exists the kernel function kd uh, acting on single input feature dimensions such that and the y is class labeled by a bow and uh, this our kernel function and uh, this so uh, we get fx by this formula and we get back this formula we uh, Yes, we can get the R, the uh, formula about R. And uh, the step one is the finish because we get the, look, we get the RD. It's our goal of step one and uh, we have achieved. And step two, the second layer is called the inter intermediate uh, uh, layer. Are the local feature extracted from many region of the uh, image. In the second step, we would like to achieve a, a decomposition of the classifier. A prediction effects in Sorry, we cannot hear you. Disconnected no. score R one two for the local feature L. Based on the uh, third, third layer from the third layer. We, or maybe the internet is. Uh, okay. uh, we define the set of input dimension zx, which are uh, effectively uh, not reached by the mapping of local feature of image, and uh, and now the ML. It's a mapping function between local feature. L and uh, BOW and uh, uh, we just uh, like uh, this this value of this formula is zero under this condition the D is the our local feature uh, this the uh, uh, linear outbreak uh, not knowledge about uh, linear outbreak uh, outbreak sorry <laughs> and uh, I just a uh, little, this is a BOW feature. This have a many feature. And when, and when we extract a local feature, it means that we extract the same feature, the same feature, and the same feature one, same feature two, same feature three, and we call this local feature. So, this feature between this feature have linear have linear relationship so this linear the value will be zero so under the this condition we get the uh, we will get the uh, local feature look uh, dimension of local feature b and uh, so uh, we we have we have the uh, d the local uh, dimension of local feature. It means that we have the number we have the number of local features. So we just uh, use the use the formula and uh, we get we get the uh, second layer sec relationship of second layer. And uh, step three, uh, it's the first layer. 
first layer is our input layer. It's, uh, it's the a pixel of the image. The pixel score RQ1 of an uh, image uh, co co coordinate view is the calculate as the sum of uh, local feature scores of all local features uh, covering, uh, covering Q. Uh, weighted by the number of pixels covered by each local feature L. And uh, this area L is the site of picture of coordinates covered by L. And uh, without assumption of any uh, further structure, we distribute the references of the local feature equally. This is very important, equally. So all its covered pixel. So the references of, of uh, input layer uh, for vertical layer, it uh, just uh, have the uh, references of the uh, second layer and the average. If that's all. This is our the, uh, re references of first layer. And uh, we have got the uh, re uh, references of first, uh, first layer. And uh, we combine all the dates, all the dates, first layer. And uh, we draw the heat map. We we can get a heat map. In this heat map, the right, uh, the part of color shown right is uh, mean. Uh, this part, this part of pixel have the have the high contribution. Uh, to explaining decision of this picture. Uh, yeah, this uh, finish, uh, finish uh, the process have the uh, finished. And uh, finally, uh, this uh, conclusion about algorithms explanation is uh, tell us how to uh, achieve this process by use the computers by algorithm. And uh, just uh, very easy <laughs> and uh, I'll put the formula in right. Yeah. And now we I'll put the references of first to there. Okay. Happy birthday. <laughs> yes, yeah, that's all I have been you, you have happy who has the happy Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, thank you very much. No, 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 it's, it's okay. It's okay. It, it's not a birthday, it's a working day. It's birthday, it's uh, maybe sometime in the future. <laughs> okay. okay, thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, yes anyone, uh, anyone have any questions? If no one have any questions, I have uh, several. Um, so um, that's very interesting. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, I hope in one month you could, uh, th that was very uh, detailed presentation. And uh, I think uh, most of the participants could uh, understand the key points and how it works. Uh, so yes. this approach is a little bit different from SHAP. Uh, yes. But uh, anyway, in the, in the last part of the present, second part of the presentation, you, uh, I think, have shown some of the um, ideas or maybe even uh, programming modules that could be possibly combined with a Shapley uh, approach. So, for example, for images, to in order to work with images, uh, can you please open slide number five? Okay. Uh, do you think, uh, uh, or maybe the next slide, maybe slide number six, mm. maybe maybe slide number six, number six, what? Uh, slide number six, next slide, next slide. Yeah. So, uh, no, no, no. Okay, okay. Uh, so, what do you? What do you think? Uh, is it possible to combine uh, this uh, BOV features and local features uh, with Shapley uh, Shap approach? Because uh, when we use Shap, 
now what we are doing is that we are uh, applying SHEP for uh, lock, um, lock anomaly detection. It means that we have a string of numbers, we have some vector, and then we try to uh, explain the vector. But uh, the problem uh, with the pictures is that uh, actually picture can also be represented as a vector, but very long one with all of the pixels. But do you think whether it's possible to apply these techniques uh, in order to um, create a set of features and represent picture in the, as a smaller vector that we later on can apply to, um, to Shapley? What do you think? Do you have any uh, maybe ideas or thinking? Maybe you could comment on this or not. Well, no, I have an idea, but uh, I haven't achieved it. Uh, it's uh, it's uh, uh, it's my goal of next uh, next week to plan. Uh, yeah, and now, and now okay. I have a, I have one idea. Just to, um, when uh, we we three, yeah, Feran, uh, Jingying, and I just do the shop. Uh, under the date uh, cancer date, yes, and uh, in this mm -hmm. cancer date have the uh, have the about the just the uh, cl classification ten ten, mm -hmm. and uh, we met uh, we met a problem is the dimension is too high, so mm -hmm. uh, I just think uh, um, maybe maybe we can use this the uh, uh, BOW feature mm -hmm. and. Uh, uh, extract uh, the local feature. It, uh, in this situation, local feature maybe it's called called the more important features, more important mm -hmm. features. And uh, we just uh, uh, build build a narrow networks. Uh, we just uh, uh, let the more important features uh, change the uh, one layer, one layer, mm -hmm. one one layer of networks and. Uh, uh yes uh this the mo this the best uh, important and this the more important and this important feature yeah just like this we mm -hmm. just the uh, layer and uh, between this we use the we use the shop maybe mm -hmm. i think maybe it's uh, we uh originally we have the 10 we have the 10 classification and uh, and if we use this uh, method. We can just the uh, three and uh, three and four. Mm -hmm. Maybe it will good. It will, it will good for uh, layer by layer. Maybe mm -hmm. this, this is uh, now my idea. But uh, it it maybe will will doesn't work uh, in the next week. Maybe I just <laughs> yes. I, don't know. Uh -huh. I just think no, no. now. Uh, thank you very much. Actually, uh, it's good uh, that you have ideas. You you can create them. That's perfect. And we should discuss uh, all of them. That's great. Uh, yeah. And uh, thank you very much. Once again, very interesting, detailed presentation. Um, for uh, for my idea for the BOV feature and local feature is that uh, you can actually, this is, uh, yes, you're right. You can also use it mm. to... Um, uh, to extract uh, features for high dimensional data, mm -hmm. that's true. Mm -hmm. But yes. I think not only not only this, right? Uh, because um, using this approach, mm -hmm. you can extract uh, features from uh, any type of input data set into the AI system you want to explain. So, such as uh, photo, you want to explain uh, the um, some image processing system. No problem. You apply this approach and you use SHAP. Mm -hmm. If you want to explain uh, explain NLP system, such as classification of uh, in, in use or uh, information in the in the web, uh, you need NLP, right? But how to explain NLP because it's very long. So you use this approach and then you use SHAP directly. So already this is a kind of uh, data pre-processing for the chef that's uh, also that's also my possible uh, that's actually my idea <laughs> um maybe for the next month you could um, prepare uh, this kind of presentation but we mean no, no need too much uh, like too many details but for 
other approaches for XAI, then we can store all possible our ideas and work them out during our uh, meeting, weekly meetings, and then uh, that would be great. And we can we, we can see the whole story, we can see the whole picture, and then we know what to do. That's uh, actually that's very important. And thank you very much for a per perfect perfect work, just perfect. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so no need, no need to. Uh, for you, I suggest no need to start uh, developing just right now. No need. Uh, first, we need to put a little bit thinking. You know, spend some time for thinking. Okay. No need right now. Okay. 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 Okay, okay. For for Feyran, we have already decided the topic and so on, so he can do, but we also need to get more information. Okay, okay. I don't want to... Yes. Uh... Mm. Okay, so, 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 so. thank you. Okay, uh, thank you, uh, uh, Zhang Yi. Uh, Yi. And the uh, uh, next student uh, is uh, Marie Ming. Uh, their research are similar. And uh, uh, because we have... Uh, uh, many uh, reported uh, presentations, so maybe you can uh, uh, faster than uh, uh, you can do your presentation faster. Uh, oh, hello, everyone. Can you see my screen? Okay. 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 Uh, hello, everyone. I'm Marimi. Uh, now let me report on my study in this month. I summarize it from the following four aspects. And the first part is the study list. I have completed 80% uh, of machine learning courses and completed 13% per of homework works of online courses on cargo. Uh, besides, I have read 40% of the book. Um, and uh, I started uh, supervised learning and its application. Uh, also, supervised learning and its application. <laughs> um, and in the second part, I will give examples of what I have learned. Uh, now, let's look at uh, uh, unsupervised learning. Uh, last time, I just introduced their basic uh, pre, uh, principles and they didn't explain how to Im implement it in depth. Today, I will talk about how to implement it with a specific example. Uh, this example, I used the PCA method to realize the dimensionality a re reduction of the area state of Python and uh, realized the realization uh, on the two-dimensional plan. First, first of all, we need to introduce the area's flaw uh, data set uh, here. And, uh, uh, we will save it in dictionary form. Uh, then we load the PCA uh, algorithm, uh, set uh, the number of principal components to two. Uh, we use uh, we use a uh, fit transform and the uh, and the methods uh, fit the date first, then standardized. Uh, it will find the mean and the variance of this training date. Then we store the standard state in three uh, in three areas and use them together. Uh, scatter uh, displayed them in three different colors and uh, shapes. The result is as shown below. We uh, we see the uh, three colors and uh, three sh shapes. Uh, the pictures can be seen that the date after dimensionality uh, reduction can still be clear, divided into three categories. 
This can not only reduce the dimension of the data, reduce the workload of the uh, classification task, but ensure the quality of the classification. Uh, now let's look at a supervised learning. The supervised, uh, the supervised learning uh, uh, divided uh, regr uh, regression and the classification. And the uh, regression is for continuous variables and the classifications for uh, discrete types. And the output results are limited. Uh, let's look at a, a linear reg regression first. Uh, we know that the execution of linear reg uh, regression is uh, as follows. Y is uh, beta zero uh, multi x and uh, beta one, where uh, beta one is a uh, uh, y bar uh, minus uh, beta zero x bar is the uh, slope and uh, uh, beta uh, Beta zero is uh, is this, and uh, uh, beta zero is uh, intercept. So, how to use could to achieve it? Uh, let's look down. Um, as shown in the picture, uh, we first define a set of linear regression data, and uh, construct the function fit to find the slope and the intercept of the regression uh, equation where the fit, uh, where the uh, fit function is calculated by the formula by beta 0 and beta 1 uh, next define the prediction function y1 is beta 0 by x and beta 1 uh, after defi uh, defining the above function, we can boldly predict the other date. And uh, well, we get the result. Mm. Uh, we, can f uh, we, we can find uh, uh, the, the uh, black linear and uh, two colors uh, dot. Uh, uh, in the classification, I learned the SVM. Uh, SVM is supported a uh, support vector algorithm is in uh, classification. Uh, we find a function W zero uh, multi x and W one multi y and W uh, three is zero. Uh, where zero uh, where y is uh, uh, minus uh, W zero divided by uh, W one X uh, uh, minus uh, W three divided by W one. Uh, the principle of oh sorry so, sorry. What happened? <laughs> Oh, so sorry, wait a minute.
Uh, okay, can you see it? Yes, yes, we can. Oh, oh, oh okay, okay. Um, uh, let's continue. Uh, first, we use the random number function you, to get. So, sorry, sorry. Can you put? Uh, can you make a full screen? Can you see it? 他说想让你全屏一下 腾讯会议，然后再全屏。左三角可以播放，不是吗？呃，不是，它已经播放了。我看到它有个退出全屏。啊，对，是这样。啊，OK，OK，OK，Sorry。Okay, okay. 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 first, uh, we use the random uh, number function to get forty rows of random accreditation and linearization distinguishing box. Uh, second. Uh, we use SVC function the, uh, here uh, to create an SVM classifier uh, and make pred uh, predications. Also, uh, according to the S SVM classifier class uh, parameters, obtain the values of uh, W0. Uh, two minutes, two minutes, sorry, two minutes. Uh, uh, w1 and w3 uh, so we can draw the support vector x0 multi x and w0 uh, w1 multi y and uh, and w3 is zero to get a y mm. uh, finally we show the result graph uh, we can we, we can say uh, uh, is a three uh, linears. Um, and as we say, there as we am there as we say, uh, choose the kernel uh, kernel functions uh, is uh, linear and fit x y uh, determined uh, supervised learn, uh, learning to uh, get uh, x. Uh, to exercise some models and the COEF uh, uh, to uh, save W1 to WP uh, values uh, intercept uh, saves W0 uh, and the third part is a, pro is a problem I'm currently facing. I think uh, I will do exercise as fast as possible. And uh, in the uh, future, uh, I'm going to do in the future here. Uh, I will complete the uh, running uh, 20 percentage of machine learning courses and the homeworks of online courses on Kaggle. Uh, I will... Uh, I I will do a twenty percentage continue. Uh, and uh, I want to say uh, I, I want to study logical uh, lo logistic re regression and its application. Uh, this uh, decision tree and the pol uh, polynomial regression. Uh, thank you. And uh, <laughs> finally, I wish Professor Venus have. Uh, have has a happy birthday and all the best. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you very much. I I, I did not know that everyone knows for the happy birthday. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. I um, remember. Uh, remember eating cake. Okay. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, actually, good presentation is the best uh, present for the for the birthday. Um. Actually, almost perfect, and I'm uh, very satisfied uh, with it. Um, could you go in the content section? So, 
when you say you you finished um 80 percent of of online course a better to write what kind of online course i i know that uh, i know what kind of course do you study and what are the topics of this course but anyway better to add um for the um uh, for the um, for the regression and svm method um do you know what kind of algorithm is used to tune the parameters of uh of of the regression and the uh, svm method you, you you've never said anything about gradient descent do you know what this is or do you know uh, anything about it just short um, question unsupervised uh, learning no 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 gradient descent do you know what this is uh this is true uh gradient descent uh I, I will write this in the chat so you you can check i think you know what i'm saying uh yeah okay uh so uh, please check it after the presentation uh i think you use it right but i just want you to understand whether you want uh, i want to understand whether you understand what this is and um, uh, just a few suggestions about uh, machine learning courses. Uh, it is good when the machine learning course has some uh, very short introduction about the key mathematical uh, directions that machine learning uses. What are the key directions? Is linear algebra for multiplying and so on. It's calculus for um, doing optimization, such as the gradient descent, to find the parameters of the regression. And also it's uh, statistics and probability theory, uh, where the regression uh, function comes from statistics. So actually machine learning is combination of this, uh, roughly is combination of these three fields. And uh, all models from machine learning, they come from statistics and probability theory regression, um, um, accumulation probability function, and this kind of loss function all comes from probability theory. You use calculus to find optimal parameters and you use linear algebra to make it fast. So uh, I hope that in your online course, you have this um, kind of knowledge so you understand not only how to use, but at least a little bit you understand the, the background on this. Okay, uh, thank you very much, uh, and uh, thank you very much for the presentation. Uh, lastly, uh, where do you learn about unsupervised and supervised learning? It's some other type of online course, right? Or what? Why you, uh, or you just wanted to present it? Uh, because I, uh, I see it in the, uh, in your send <laughs> link, <laughs> and and uh, and uh, uh, here is the. Uh, uh, and supervised learning methods and uh, uh, supervised learning methods. Okay, yeah, yeah, sorry. Uh, uh, In, можешь спросить у нее, она это рассказала, потому что это она сейчас изучает в онлайн курсе, или это просто она еще в другом месте учит? Я не не понял просто. Oh, uh, uh, on, on cargo, uh, uh, you, you sent the link before. It's a homework on Kaggle, yes? Uh, yeah, and, uh, oh. and, I, mm -hmm. and I started the methods, uh, 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 um, I use it uh, in pure charm and uh, uh, search the information on the line. Uh, and uh, some Chinese, uh, some Chinese courses. Uh, In, скажи, что надо иметь один хороший онлайн курс и его полностью изучить uh, и иногда в бок смотреть. Не надо много разных да, онлайн. Это это невозможно. Да, я это... понял. Я я перевожу. Хорошо. Что надо для хорошего онлайн курса и для полного изучения всех технологий, надо иметь один хороший онлайн курс. 啊，这样你没有足够的精力去深挖这些，或者说不能完整的吸收，可能不太好。
我建议你啊，哦，只专注于一个好的就可以了。Oh, oh. Okay, okay, thank you. No need too much because、uh, no need too much directions. Otherwise, you will never finish all. You know, you finish.、Yeah. Firstly, finish one online course with all home tasks step by step. For example, you show that you finished eighty percent of online course, and maybe forty or sixty percent of、um, home tasks, right? But why? You, you you should not continue video without、uh, Python. So,、uh, I suggest to stop video until you finish all home course.、Uh, as you said, it's a problem. You forget. It's it's useless to watch, only useless to, only use、um, useful to 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 train. It's just、oh, suggestion. So suggestion. No problem, no problem. It's it's okay. It's a suggestion for everyone.、Uh, when you do it,、uh, watch video after doing homework and don't go further with video. <laughs> no need.、Yeah. Okay. 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 Thank you very much. That would uh, very, that was very good presentation. Thank you much. Yes, 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 yes. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.、Uh, I think soon I will introduce to you some topics. But I hope first you could suggest you could finish the online course at least one, and then I could、uh, give you the topic that you could start to research、uh, slowly. But first,、um, you need to finish. Okay.、Uh, okay. Thank I you. think. Thank you. Yes, 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 yes. Thank, Thank you. you. Maybe maybe we could go a little bit faster because it's already uh, uh, already uh, doing a little bit slowly. <laughs> okay, thank you, thank you. Okay, thank you.、Uh, and the next uh, is Liu Xiu Xiu. Liu Xiu Xiu. And、uh, could please, you see it?、Uh, please, you have only in twelve、uh, uh, minutes. And then、uh, have you, you you have three minutes、uh, for discussion. Questions, Liu Xiuxiu, joint seminar between Saint Petersburg State University, the School of Mathematics, Yan'an University, in two thousand twenty. Can you see it? Hello. Hello. Twenty. Hello. What are talking about? Could you? Yeah. Could you make a full screen? Uh, this how to put it? Uh, this 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 text text book, 好像不可以放全屏吗？我没试过。对，不可以。呃，你你得用那个那个那个那那什么呀？用浏览器。你不是有 Chrome 下面？用 Chrome 播放也可以，或者是 PDF 的播放器。这个这个播放器。这个它也放不大，这个放不大。你用 Chrome 可以，这个用左下角。这是浏览器里的。浏览器可以放大，这个、可以放大。这个放大。这个也放大呀、啊。这个放大键是 F 十一。啥 S？ F 十一。S 十一。F 十一。哎，算算。右上角不是有这个选项吗？你可以在那个里面选那个全屏，右上角。没有。对对对，这个这个这个，对对对。啊。OK。Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Liu Xiuxiu, and my research direction is implementable AI. My top today is lasso and the redirection. My content consists of three sections:、uh, introduction, lasso, and、uh, redirection and、uh, example. Sorry, sorry, sorry.、Uh, I sorry, sorry, sorry. I I will interrupt you.、Uh, sorry. Um. Uh, can you please all the time start with your progress for online courses? For all of your progress for the learning, because it's the seminar to support our education.、Uh, okay, so please, as I was, as I was saying before,、uh, please everyone start with the slide where you say what you have done and what you plan to do until next month. Okay. 
Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you. So please proceed. Oh, you can say it in by words, I think, this time, okay? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. This, uh, uh, this is false uh, uh, function, loose function, and uh, and uh, however, uh, learner uh, linear reaction can still equal the follow problem, and the number one solves the mini mu value and the loose function. Uh, there are two ways to solve it: the gradient drop uh, drip uh, method and the regularly uh, equal equation. And number two, uh, faster uh, faster scrolling. And this is the uh, character did to normalize the operations. The uh, advantages of the filter scanning had two points. Uh, one is to be able to improve the um, coverage's the span of, speed of the model. And because if the date yeah. between filter is large, take the two filter as an example. The two filter for huge, uh, huge, uh, horizont horizontal uh, creates to draw continue for chart drawn out is a flat uh, ellipse. This time throws the gradient drop uh, method to find the gradient uh, direction will eventually go uh to the continuing gleeful route. Uh, Eritrean utility speed is slower. The second is to improve the Accu accu uh, accuracy of the matter. Uh, the learning rate uh, and uh, sorry, the learning rate alpha, the selection of the student. Uh, if alpha is too small, it will result in more interaction and lower coverages. And the uh, uh, selection is too large, which may scrape uh, the optimal. Uh, optimal solution resulting in no coverages at all. Uh, last of reaction min, uh, minimize means uh, scrolled error with L1 regularization and uh, um, read reaction minimize means uh, squared error uh, with uh, L2 regularization. Uh, read regression and large uh, large uh, lasso uh, regularization is to solve the overfit of linear regression and the x trace location multiplied by x uh, in reversible in the uh, process of uh, solving it by the regular uh, equation method both. Uh, the which you activate by introducing regularization into the loose function. Uh, where lambda is uh, called the normal, uh, normal normalization parameter. And next, I will take. Uh, uh, Boston House prices state as uh, an example. Let's read the uh, discretization of data. Uh, we can see, oh, uh, we can see that there are variable, variable, and uh, Zn, uh, Nox, Rom, and uh, so on. Uh, let's fetch it. Uh, let's fetch a uh, uh, lesson repre uh, representation. Uh, Representation with the small alpha coefficient led to nox factor will be zero. It means that uh, this factor is this factor is the uh, is in the uh, least important for uh, machine house prices predic uh, prediction. Uh, let's try uh, less uh, regression with uh, uh, alpha equal 10 or the cover coverage are uh, equal to zero ex except uh, factor Z N T A X B and uh, L S T E T.
It means that last soul regression may solve uh, may serve as a future selection method. Uh, and uh, then let's find the best value of jewelry cost validation. One more, uh, maybe your point. Uh, let's see we start value of the part um, parameters in the decreasing order to easy uh, upper optimization. It may see that alpha optimization works incorrectly, and then it's uh, uh, it's wrong. Uh, it's uh, it's right. In case, uh, in case of the region reduction, neither of the parameter of uh, reducing to the zero, it can be small value, but no zero. It's a list of code, and uh, there is a, it's the last, it's the last result. And so, uh, lasso and uh, reaction uh, and redirection can be used to solve the overfit problem of uh, standard linear uh, linear reaction. And uh, uh, however, two minutes, two minutes, two minutes. Sorry, sorry. Uh, lasso reaction uh, lasso can be used as a feature uh, feature selection but no rate or rather um, lasso reaction make it easier for the weight to the become zero and the read reaction make it easier for the weight to be close to zero and this all Happy birthday to Professor Vanessa and good luck in your work. Thank you. We can't see, uh, we can't hear you. Yeah, uh, so for the future, I suggest, uh, thank you very much for the presentation. For the future, I suggest to add a uh, first slide where you say what you are uh, finished for example like in the previous presentation it was very good and show what kind of online course just give a link or something like this and um i suggest for each uh section for the section for explainable ai uh, reinforcement learning and dynamic games uh, i suggest to um cooperate and choose which topic is better to present because uh, for example, this here you present for the regression. The previous one was also for the regression. Uh, of course, regression is a very wide field, but maybe you could kind of, so I will do the regression. Uh, maybe I will do support vector machines. So you, you know, so kind of um, divide, the, um, divide the area so that it would be interesting for everyone to, to hear and everyone will learn something from your PPD. So the key point for your slides is to en enable others to learn from your experience. That's the key point. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, of course, I, I understand that you want to show me that you understand, uh, but that's a little that's a little target target right you, first you need to show uh you need to to share your experience with others okay yeah. uh, what are what what are your plans you, you 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 do not present what are your plans until the next month mm. uh, do, do you understand my questions uh, continue, uh, continue, uh, like, uh, continue course, uh, course of, uh, 
dislike. Um, uh, plan means that you need to have some specific plan, such as uh, I will um, I will finish. I plan to finish another twenty percent for video and twenty percent for Python. Uh, this kind mm. of uh, uh, or or ten percent. You you should give a target for yourself. Mm. What kind of target you 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 plan to give for yourself for the next month? That's a. Mm, it will help you to know uh, what to do. Mm. Yeah, I know. И она может сказать, что она хочет сделать. Хорошо,他就是想问你,嗯,就是你,对,你也知道他,但是他想说的是你对,呃,接下来学习的确定的一个规划,啊,就是得有条理,有逻辑,有结构,有先后,有主次,就这样的一个表述,啊,不只是一